into this was I got to a point where I started to question a lot of the things that were taking place for me. Not so much the, the externally, but within myself. Okay. So I'd have certain, you know, one day, for example, as a, I, I, and I hate to say it, but it's true. There was a point, to, I guess, in my early 20s where I had hatred for someone. And someone very dear to me, very close to me, that some you know things had happened in life, and all of a sudden, you know, I, I was hating them. Like, and I, I and this went on for quite a while, and then one day it just dawned on me, and I was like, how is it possible I could actually hate this person? Like, what's causing that? Right. You know, what's that about? You know, it's like typically when, at least for me, in my experience, when when I've experienced hatred, it's it, it seems quite obvious that the problem is out there. And I have a reason to hate them. And I'm justified in hating them. And I can't see for a moment, I can't see at all, that I have any responsibility in, in that. Like, it's like them that aroused that in me. So it's their fault. It's their fault. Yeah, they're how to fucking blame. dare they? Yeah, and, right. yeah. yeah. so yeah. I was very much a victim yeah. in my own mind. I was very much, you know, at the mercy of their actions. Right. And I've suffered the consequences couldn't get over the suffering, wasn't getting over the suffering, wasn't taking any responsibility for it whatsoever. So they were the problem. Right. And I hated them for it. And I was innocent in my mind. Innocent mm. in the sense that I had no part in the pain that was in my life. Like that pain that I was experiencing, I had attributed to their actions and to or their inactions. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this kind of, uh, all of the thoughts and attitudes that went with that were continuous. And one day I started to realize this can't be true. Like, I, like there's, there's how, how's it, like, for someone that I was that close to, that I would feel that way. I just, in my mind, I thought this, I started to question it and I started to really look at it. So that's when my life started to change. You know, that's when I realized that I had been incorrect in my assumptions about certain things. I'd been mistaken. And what brought me to that realization, actually, was somebody shared with me a prayer. They said, if you want to get over something, if there's someone that you actually, you, you really hate, you really detest, if you want to get over that, this is what you do. Every morning and every night, when you get up and before you go to bed, you say a prayer for that person. And you pray for the very things that you want for yourself, the things that you want most in your life. Mm -hmm. 